Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about cardio. Two different things. I made a video about that a while ago, but still people keep asking me what's the difference between high intensity interval training and list training. Let's talk about LIST training. LIST stands for Low Impact Steady State Cardio. It involves um, a repetitive movement for a very long period of time. For example, you run on a treadmill for 30 minutes and you want to keep your heart rate at 40 to 60 percent of your max. Now HIT. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. This involves performing high intensity activities um, at 95 percent of your maximum heart rate. Now that we know the difference between those two, I want to mention that both of them help increase your cardiovascular endurance. This is usually measured by VO2 max, which I will talk about later. Why wait? Let's just talk about it right now. VO2 max is basically the ability to distribute oxygen and use oxygen as a, use, uh, as a form of energy. Also important to know is that there is a difference between anaerobic and aerobic training. Uh, anaerobic is without oxygen and aerobic is with oxygen. To make that a little bit more clear, um, anaerobic training is basically the intensity is so high that you need ATP as a source of energy. And if you do, and that's usually like a shorter period of time. And if you think about aerobic training, that's a longer period of time and you can use oxygen to basically um, Give your body and muscles the energy to perform that activity. I feel it, I'm starting to sweat in here. I turned the AC off, but uh, if the AC is on, you cannot hear a single word I would say. So, I have to sweat. Which form of cardio is better for fat loss? A lot of people swear on, on list training, but I personally think high intensity interval training is the way to go. Why? Let me tell you. It only takes up between 15 to 20 minutes to really keep you or, or, or leave you, not keep you, leave you exhausted after only 20 minutes. Another reason why I prefer HIIT training over LIST is because it um, elevates your metabolism for up to or between 12 to 24 hours after your session. So you basically do a 20 minute workout and elevate your metabolism to like between 12 to 24 hours. I mean, that's a pretty good deal, right? Which one is better for fat loss while building muscle mass? So now that's the tricky part. I just said that I prefer HIIT training, but if it comes to building muscle mass, I go back and do list training. High intensity interval training uses up a lot of energy. And if you wanna build muscle mass, you know you have to eat those calories and you have to be in a surplus to like gain muscle mass. If you throw in too many HIIT sessions, you might burn way too many calories and you won't gain muscle mass. So if you wanna build muscle mass, you wanna be in a surplus, right? This is what I burn, this is how much I eat. I'm talking about calories. So now if I throw in another HIIT session, it gets a little closer, so I need to eat more. So it's counterproductive. So the answer is list training. If you wanna build muscle mass, but keeping your body fat percentage low, throw in one or two list uh, sessions a week between 30 and 60 minutes and you're good to go. Which one's better to improve your VO2 max? If you wanna increase your endurance, there are two things you need to know the anaerobic endurance and the aerobic one. So if you wanna increase your anaerobic um, endurance, you have to do HIIT training. On the other hand, if you wanna increase your aerobic endurance, you can do both. You can do list training or HIIT training. There are so many reasons why people do cardio, but I personally love the fact that if you increase your VO2 max, you can perform better in your usual like bodybuilding, you know, muscle mass training routine. Why am I talking about endurance all the time? Why is it so important to know the difference between anaerobic and aerobic endurance? Um, how does that help me gain muscle mass, for example? Think about it this way. The better your ability to use oxygen as an energy so source throughout your workouts, the better your workout, right? Let's think about bench pressing. Uh, if you bench press 135 pounds, there are two things that limit your bench press. Number one, strength and then endurance, right? It's not only your strength that's limiting from doing more reps, it's also your endurance. So if you can increase the endurance, within a specific exercise or like overall your entire physique, you can do more and you will gain more strength over time. So, so if you increase your VO2 max, you can increase the intensity of your workouts, which leads to better workouts, more gains, shredded physique. To sum up this video, in my opinion, uh, a well-programmed uh, workout routine has to have um, at least one less training in there or a hit training, you need some form of cardio to elevate your physique. You cannot just 
um, you know, do your bench press and your squats for like months without cardio. Because at some point you will plateau and if you increase some cardio, you might be able to push a little harder over here, which will increase your performance in whatever exercise it is. But to be healthy overall, my recommendation is to have at least one list session a week and depending on your goals, have like two hit sessions in there and yeah. Or obviously if you're an endurance athlete, you need more list sessions in there than high intensity interval training. If you're into fitness and you just want to look better, I would suggest one list training, two hit sessions, and you're good to go on top of your uh, normal bodybuilding routine. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. If you are interested in some HIIT training, but you don't know how to program that, I have uh, a workout plan on my website, bodybybottle.com. It's a 60 day body weight workout plan and all of the workouts are hit sessions. They're between 10 to 25 minutes long and uh, they change every single day. If you wanna lose fat fast, get that workout plan in 60 days. I promise you, you will lose a lot of weight. All right guys, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,